Welcome to this short video about the vestry. We're blessed at St. Columbus to have many leaders who make all sorts of marvelous, thing, marvelous things happen. The vestry's work is vital, but it's no more or less important than that of others. But the vestry's work often happens behind the scenes. So this video will shine a light on what they do. Here's Abigail Gorman, who's currently serving as junior warden. Thank you, Ledley. Hello, fellow Columbans. As the nominating committee begins to seek and consider potential candidates to run for election for the vestry, we wanted to describe the two important areas that with Ledley, the vestry oversees and stewards. The first is St. C's mission. With Ledley, the vestry sets the strategy, the course, to ensure that St. C's lives its mission to live God's love. And to ensure we are a welcoming Christian community of all ages that encourages spiritual curiosity, celebrates children and youth, and embraces the world in the spirit of God's justice and love. Second, the vestry oversees the business of St. Columbus. The vestry is responsible for making decisions that strengthen our capacity, such as through the budget and caring for the physical building and grounds. These are not necessarily the most exciting things, but they are important. Keeping our house and our business in order allows us to fully live God's love. For thoughts on who makes a good vestry member, here's Jennifer Turner. Thanks, Abigail. I served on the vestry from 2012 to 2015, and I'm currently on staff as Minister for Member Engagement. I've had the privilege of working with wonderful vestry members over the course of my many years here. A couple of things vestry members have in common are probably no surprise to you. Vestry members are actively involved at St. Columbus. They give of their treasure through pledging. They commit their time and talents to meet the responsibilities that Abigail described. In addition to active participation as a parishioner, a vestry member has one meeting per month, an annual vestry retreat, and serves on at least one vestry committee which comes to a time commitment of roughly two to six hours per month, sometimes more, sometimes less. There is no single description of the ideal vestry member, and I think that's a very good thing. Having diverse experiences and backgrounds around the vestry table is important. When people with different perspectives come together to solve problems and set strategy, decisions are ultimately better. When I look out over the parish, I see many people who have talents that would be an asset to the vestry. Josh, over to you. Hi, I'm Josh Wilson, and uh, I'm a brand new member of the vestry. I've been on vestry for about a year. Uh, we've talked about the work that the vestry does, and I take that work very seriously, but I wanted to speak about what being on the vestry uh, has meant to me, uh, and some of the things I've gained from it, um, and some of my experiences. Um, I've always known that St. Columbus was a community full of really talented, curious, accomplished people with a, a deep love for the church. Um, but I feel like serving on vestry has um, brought me into a greater understanding of just how um, fortunate we are um, to have um, a community of uh, seekers, people with spiritual curiosity, uh, and people who are really dedicated um, to um, sustaining us uh, as a body uh, and, and helping us uh, grow uh, in uh, Christ together. Um, one thing I'll never forget was um, the first night of our vestry retreat uh, back in February, Ledley put a simple question to all of us, uh, why do we go to church? The, different, the answer was different for everyone, uh, but, um, uh, but each answer um, revealed uh, that everyone in the room um, really was there for a purpose, uh, really was there um, to um, uh, learn something about themselves, learn something about the people uh, that they worship with. Um, they were there to serve others. Uh, they were there to deepen their faith uh, and God uh, and to learn uh, how to be better humans in the world and um, that energy um, is something you know you can you can feel it in church at a, at a service or you can feel it in the parish hall um, uh, but it, it, it's something pretty pretty great and um, uh, I, I just feel fortunate to be among such a such a um, 
dedicated group of leaders. Um, I also have developed a greater understanding of um, uh, just how talented um, our clergy and staff are um, and, and the work that they put in behind the scenes um, to make everything uh, uh, the way it is. Um, especially during the pandemic as we've struggled to kind of figure out what it means to be a church at this time. Um, the staff has just been unbelievably uh, dedicated and innovative um, to keep us together as a community and to point the way forward. Um, so I feel blessed with the opportunity to serve on the vestry um, and um, I'll turn it over now uh, to Ryan who's going to talk about the nominating process. Hello. My name is Ryan McNavage, and I serve on the vestry. And with Sarah Glenn, I co-chair the 2020 Vestry Nominating Committee. Eight other people in the parish sit on this committee. You can find their names online. We invite you to help us. We want to identify parishioners interested in running for the vestry. If you or someone you know would be a good candidate, please submit a recommendation by filling out the online form. The link to the form can be found on the St. C's website or below. Over the next few months, the committee will be working to land on a final slate of candidates. The slate will be presented in the fall and elections will be held in November. Thank you for taking the time to consider how you can play a role in this important work. And thank you for watching.